It's Friday, the 12th of January, and let's get up in the mighty Luscombe and take a current look of what's going on over at the Oroville Dam. The boys of Keywood Engineering are blowing and going on phase two, continuing to work all through this winter. Thanks for all the great comments on the previous video where we broke down events during the disaster of the Oroville spillway last winter. I wanna do a follow on video using, again, uh, data from the final forensics report that shows the hydrology behind the failure at the spillway and the construction of the original spillway that laid its fate. Breaking news, just two days ago, a new head of the DWR was announced, Carla Nemeth, who is replacing already Grant Davis, who had been in the position just five months. Grant Davis, of course, came, stepped in after Bill Croyle's retirement. Bill Croyle got into this, this uh, position just before the crisis at Oroville to temporarily fill for the head of DWR that was retiring at that time. After five short months, Grant Davis is returning to the Sonoma County Water Agency. Here's a little background on Carla Nemeth that's being published today. Carla Nemeth was named as the new director. Nemeth has been the deputy secretary and senior advisor for water policy at the California Natural Resources Agency since 2014. She also was the project manager for the Bay Delta Conservation Plan at the California Natural Resources Agencies from 2009 to 2014. She was the environmental and public affairs director at the Alameda County Flood Control and Water Conservation District from 2005 to 2009. She brings extensive knowledge of the state's water system, California Action Plan, and the California Water Fix to the position. The California Water Fix, of course, is that somewhat controversial um, tunnels project, tunneling underneath the California Delta to get fresher water into the, the California aqueduct system. Carla Nemeth, the new DWR, the head of DWR, is married to Tom Phillip, a former Sacramento Bee editorial writer who now works as a senior strategist for the Metropolitan Water District of Southern California. The MWD is the largest member agents, agency of the state water project that DWR oversees and is a key promoter of the Delta Tunnels project. DWR is also in the process of restructuring a lot of the upper management of DWR and things at Oroville. All these appointments are either created by or approved by Governor Jerry Brown of California. And I do hope DWR gets the technical expertise it so desperately needs at the top of the food chain. Looks like the Thule fog is beginning to lift in the Sacramento Valley after our last storm. Let's go see what's happening at Oroville.
We'll descend on down in here and head on over to the dam. Back over here, we can see the area that burned just this summer upstream of Oroville. I've already forgot the name of that fire. Let them know we're here. The Oroville Airport's right over there. Now ah, the fog's creeping in. Get her trimmed up 2,500 feet. She's a little brisk out there today on the 12th of January. They gotta keep this GoPro karma gyro stick out of the slipstream or it'll just knock the gyros right out. I'd like to keep the window open for the clear view. Orville traffic, uh, I'm the 97 uniform, be taking off runway 31. I'll be doing a downwind uh, departure in Orville. Well, the intercom on the Luscom is still a little bit too noisy and only has audio on one channel, so we'll switch to voiceover as we fly over the structural concrete plant still located on the boat ramp and the lake level, despite the rain, still right about 705 feet. So phase one of phase two of the Orville spillway is going to concentrate heavily on armoring of the emergency spillway, a lot of this work being done this winter. First, they're rebuilding the extension of the emergency spillway along the edge of the boat ramp, digging it deep down into competent bedrock and giving it a nice curved smooth finish to match that of the original OG Weir. A much beefier design than the original. Work continues on the secant cutoff wall some 700 feet below the emergency spillway an underground wall 40 to 60 feet into competent bedrock to prevent head cutting erosion from ever attacking the emergency spillway again. And here's some of the drill rigs as seen from the ground uh, DWR photo footage. So phase one of phase two is going to consist of this dirt area below the red line shown here. Phase two of phase two, that area above the red line, that concrete was placed during the emergency and will remain in place until we get through this year's flood season. Meanwhile, the entire RCC roller compacted concrete plant has been moved from beside the spillway where it was used to fill the plunge pools up to here just below the secant cutoff wall. This entire area between the emergency spillway and the secant cutoff wall is to be filled with roller compacted concrete. Here's some great footage from DWR showing some of the controlled blasting and dirt work going on in this phase one area. The whole idea being to get down to competent bedrock and create a smooth transition for the roller compacted concrete. Flying around the rest of the project, you can see some more cleanup work being done on the main service spillway, some drain work being done, and lots of erosion control measures being placed throughout the entire project, especially along the routing of the new power lines. Here you can see some of the erosion rolls in place, and in red is the new power line extension, and in blue is the old shoe fly connection poles yet to be removed. So with the lake this low, this late in the season, it's highly unlikely they'll use the main service spillway at all this year. So stay tuned, 2018 is gonna be a very busy year here at Orville with a new deadline to get this phase two completed by November of 2018. Not only do they gotta finish improvements on the emergency spillway, the secant cutoff wall, and the RCC apron, they've also gotta finish rebuilding the main spillway to the final specifications.
All right, one more Captain Kablamo special full stop landing at 2-5 here in Nevada County. See if we can make the first turn off. Gas undercarriage mixture prop. Trip, trip, trip. 608 turn left base 2-5 Nevada County full stop. Getting breezy out. Yeah, a little wind shear over them trees. Got to carry a few extra knots for that. Typical Nevada County Captain Kablamo kind of day. Easily made the first turn off. Let's go get some gas. Now those other videos I promised might be a little while coming. One thing in the airline industry after 18 years, you don't get to choose when your vacation is. The seniority system chooses it for you. So here it is, the dead of winter. It's time to go on vacation. So pack your bags, kids. We're going to London, and you're coming with me. What? Chewy, you got to stay with Grandma. Wah, 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 wah. While we're there, I want to hop over to Ireland and find some traditional Irish music.